These are this year's top 15 most downloaded CNC projects. Actually, most of the projects on this table didn't even make the list, so let's jump right in. Starting at number 15, the HD Bit Storage Tray. Created with the HD beginner bits in mind, this bit storage tray has a few different ways to hold your CNC bits. An easy scrap wood project that utilizes all three of the bits that is intended to hold, but versatile enough to hold just about any hobby CNC tool geometry that you can throw at it. Whether you're organized or just want to throw some bits to the side, this bit tray definitely has you covered. Number 14 is a project created by Greg from STL Woodworking. This single-sided clock is a fun clock that is also very easy to make. No flipping required, you can mill out the entire clock all at once and get really great results every single time. You can even scale this one much larger to fill up different spaces around your home while following the same simple steps. Number 13 is our Family Tree STL file. Showcased in the Alt Mill vs. Infinity video, this 3D carving has a large customizable area to highlight family names. You can customize this file by adding the names to the file itself or by carving it with a V-bit for extra versatility. We'll be releasing some more STL files next year like this 3D carving of Gandalf that I made. Uh, the STL files take up a lot of space, so we're working through some solutions to make that process <laughs> as simple as possible for next year. Taking up our number 12 slot is Connect 4. This file was introduced by Hinkle Shop. Vernon and Lisa walk us through the simple steps to create this family favorite game on your CNC machine. A project that connects CNC fun and family fun. Connect. Get it? Our number 11 most downloaded project on CNC with me is our drill docking station. Woodshop organization seems to be a continual favorite for CNC projects, and having the ability to store up to six drills and drivers, this docking station also comes with files to create boxes to fill in the spaces that you're not actually using. It's a cheap and fast project that provides a ton of open space to organize the way that makes most sense for your shop. Coming in at number 10 is this wine bottle rack made by James from James Dean Designs, showcasing how you can use simple shapes and stack them together to get really cool results. This is one of those projects that seems very intricate, but can really be quickly perfected by anyone with a CNC machine. Alcohol-related woodworking projects are consistently some of the best selling at craft shows, so whether you're creating this for yourself or as a gift or to sell, it's easy to see why it's snagged number 10 on the list. These are just the top 15 of 72 full project file packs released this year. Each of these projects we're talking about has G-code ready CarveCo and Vectric files, along with SVG and DXF files. Most of them even have full toolpath tutorials that you can follow along with. And on top of that, we also have a ton of regular SVG files floating around on the site to download as well. So many files and tutorials were released this year that file organization quickly became a real issue. So with all of the upcoming files, I'm happy to say that our new project search solution is just days away from going live. Probably most of y'all will be live when you're watching this. But let's get back to the list. Number nine of our top downloaded files on the site is our double-sided picture frame. This deceptively easy carve utilizes all three of the HD beginner bits and plays with geometry in a way that makes it seem like a 3D carve. It's set up to hold 5x7 pictures, but can easily be scaled up or down to suit the size that you're actually looking for. This was shown off in our Quill ADA 3D printer video, where I 3D printed the Mona Lisa in Braille, and also did some fun other pictures out of it, and we used this frame to frame one of them. This project also highlights a very simple way to flip your material over for double-sided milling operations, and I've gotta admit, this was almost my favorite project of the year, but I'll reveal that at the end of the video. Number eight is our simple propagation stations, and I'm so glad to see that this file was downloaded so much. It hits so many of the markers that makes a great impulse purchase craft show project. The file pack itself includes a ton of customizable variants for phrases, hole locations, material sizes, and really does have a ton of information to get a whole product line in your market booth as quickly as possible. And I'm excited about bringing these to a market next year and highlighting them even more. Number seven is another project from James Dean Designs. This is the Golf Ball Puzzle. The project was released right around Father's Day, but holds up as a fun project to keep on your desk. And it also gets people guessing how you actually fit the golf ball in without breaking any of the wood. It shows off some really great double-sided carving techniques and how to index your material on your wasteboard for simple and consistent results. We are almost in the top five of the projects, but number six is our One Trippers. With a few different variations to play around with, this project is meant to hook all of your grocery bags onto a single handle so that you can unload your car in one trip. It also was the first time that I realized that a massive portion of my viewers live in areas that no longer allow plastic grocery bags, so it's always interesting when I make a video on subjects that I would not otherwise view as controversial. I did get a very harshly worded email after that project directly blaming me for destroying the planet. So this is a public apology for me single-handedly destroying the planet. The weight I feel is immeasurable and I would have never known it without your email. 
Number five is my modular wasteboard tiles. It is a very simple system that provides endless spoil board customization and utility, and you're able to swap out these dog hole tiles and create the configuration that works best for you and your cutting area. No matter if you have a tiny desktop CNC or a much larger machine, it definitely has you covered. And when you make a mistake or even just use one area of your bed more than the rest, you can swap out each section rather than the entire wasteboard, which saves you a ton of time, material, and money. You can even set this up using T-Track if you like, and the dog holes give you a lot of additional clamping customization for things that you can easily 3D print or just purchase off Amazon. I'm so stoked that you all like this project so much because it has been on my mind for a very long time. And if you have any suggestions on how to improve the design, I would love to hear them down in the comments below because I think this is a really great foundation to build off of. Coming in at number four of our top 15 most downloaded projects is the spray paint can rack. Mitz, our resident file wizard, created this awesome spray paint can rack that holds 20 cans of spray paint. It uses half inch MDF and friction fits together for a quick afternoon project that can immediately improve your woodshop storage. Y'all love this file so much that we are releasing its sister file as this week's full project file pack. This is the eight ounce stain can rack. Mitz was kind enough to cut out this project out in his shop just to show it off. It holds 12 8 ounce cans of stain and fits right in with your spray paint can rack and is available to download right now at cncwithme.com as well as a full toolpath tutorial that you can follow along with. We've had a ton of requests for different use cases with this file so we figured that the stain cans would be a great next step for these. Obviously the files need to be completely changed around for each project that it is meant to hold and Mitz did a fantastic job. A ton of work goes into making these projects look like they are easy to make and even more to actually be made. So I can't thank Mitz enough for all the incredible talent that he has shown off on CNC with me, transitioning so many files into complete file packs that anybody can use and get really great results. It's often thankless work, so I just wanted to take a second and publicly thank Mitz for all that he does. Thanks Mitz. Number three is actually Mitz's favorite project of the year. This is the Santa Ladder Countdown Calendar. This little Santa makes his way down the chimney as he counts down the days till Christmas. It puzzle pieces together and has variations for both right and left side use so that you can cut out the version that makes most sense for your space. It's been so much fun seeing y'all post pictures of this project all over the internet. And if y'all have any thoughts on what would make it better, let me know down in the comments down below. Being so popular, I think that it'll make for a very fun updated version two for next year. Number two on our most downloaded projects of this year is our Whiskey Smoker Display Stand. Created with the sole purpose for craft show markets, this flat pack project displays your whiskey smokers. It's a simple no frills design that holds four smokers on each row and the file comes with three or four tier variants. This not only shows off the smokers, but it gives you a great understanding on how many smokers that you need to actually create for your market. You can even display bags or tins of smoker chips in any of the open areas on the display stand. Every year when the fall hits, I get a wave of tag and notifications on social media of y'all going out and selling whiskey smokers. And it has been an absolute pleasure to see how many of y'all are actually using these stands in your selling process. And hopefully it has made everything just a little bit easier. So it's not any surprise that the number one spot on our list is actually Whiskey Smokers. It remains the top downloaded project for the last two years. Just five days before filming this video, I had somebody reach out completely unprompted, telling me that they had done $60,000 in Whiskey Smoker sales this year alone. It is consistently the project that people come back to me saying that they paid off their CNC machine by selling them, or that they just even sold a few at a market and it gave them the boost of confidence that they needed to keep on trying to sell things. My goal for next year is to make at least one file that gets more downloads than these whiskey smokers, and I do have a few in mind that I think will be good contenders. My favorite project of this year sadly didn't even make the top 15 list. This rotating magnetic knife block was so much fun to make. It perfectly joins up due to each wall being profiled by a 60 degree V-bit, and the concept is really cool and can carry over to a lot of different applications for CNC. Mitz and I went back and forth on this one for a while and the files even include the math used for all of this work if you're interested in all of that. I got to do things on this channel this year that I would have never dreamed possible even a few years ago. We released weekly projects, tutorials, and YouTube videos every single Friday. And honestly, it sounds so simple to say all of that out loud, even for me right now as I'm saying it, but I have so much to say about all of that in my next and last upcoming YouTube financial breakdown, where I'll talk way more about the YouTube side of things. So thank you all for spending so much time with me this year, and it has been a year that I will absolutely never forget. And that's all thanks to y'all watching my videos and being a part of CNC with me. As I change from weekly to monthly YouTube video uploads, I hope that y'all enjoy the channel even that much more. I'm really excited about showing off the cool things that I have planned for next year. 
My YouTube financial breakdown will be out very soon, but besides that, I'll be seeing y'all in a few weeks. Woof. Bye.